Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and it is time for a new monthly macro challenge. Uh, we do have lots of entries to look at from last month. We need to pick a winner. And of course, we've got a new theme for December. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter some of your own macro photos for a chance to win some cool prizes. I'm going to jump straight over to the computer and take a look at some of the entries for last month's challenge. November's challenge, Autumn Leaves, was the uh, the most popular challenge that we've had so far. We have over 100 really lovely uh, leaf photos on the challenge. Unfortunately, we don't have time to get through every single one of them today, but we do have a lot of notable mentions, a runner-up and, of course, a winner as well. So uh, we're going to kick things off with uh, Rachel's photo here of, um, I think this is three leaves, maybe four. I think that's just uh, a variation in the color of this behind uh, this back leaf um, but these are all photo stacks so you've got a lot of sharpness between these three leaves laid on top of each other and that really helps to bring out the detail and the color in these backlit leaves uh, it's a very bright and very colorful image uh, very inspiring for the first one of November's uh, notable mentions so very uh, well done Rachel thank you for kicking us off in style Next up we've got Andre and this looks like uh, another photo stack this time with 58 photos to create this really sharp image of uh, I think this is is maybe just one leaf uh, but one that is a very interesting leaf or perhaps it's two uh, laid on top of each other but certainly a really nice uh, composition with this black background and the reflection in this surface uh, and of course again with those lovely photos this time pinks and purples uh, it's a really well lit image as well you've got these little highlights just catching on the surface of the leaf um, altogether a really lovely photo thank you very much for submitting it Andre so next up we have Bev's holly leaf and there's actually two of these we couldn't decide which one we preferred uh, so we'll be talking about both of them uh, but both black and white so instead of going for those autumnal colors and that all of that detail within the leaves uh, we've actually gone for the smooth curves and the and the uh, composition of the leaf on its exterior which is a really interesting approach and especially in black and white the contrast between the lit side of the leaf and the dark side of the leaf uh, really helps to accentuate those curves it's a really lovely set of images very well done Bev now it wouldn't be a monthly macro competition without at least one Lego photo in the notable mentions um, so we've got Ang's picture here uh, of uh, Homer and Bart jumping in the leaves and this really made us chuckle um, not only because of the theming um, but also you've got these little handmade or potentially pre-made leaves down here very on theme but also very fun and we loved that it was all to scale to the little minifigures uh, a lot of effort's gone into making these scenes quite whimsical and fun uh, so very well done Ang thank you for uh, submitting your <laughs> very fun uh, Lego Simpsons um, photos and yes cowbunga indeed for our runner-up winner this month, we're coming back to Rachel. Now, we had Rachel's photo at the start, uh, and this one was really nice, but we think that this one is even nicer. You've really brought out all of that detail in the leaf, backlighting it here with uh, those veins and things coming through, and of course, all of that same color, and the flatness of the leaf has really allowed all of that detail to come through with uh, a lot of sharpness. So thank you very much for your second photo, Rachel, and very well done for uh, being the runner-up for this month's competition. This month's winner is going to be Paul. His uh, photo of a leaf is really sharp, but it's also really colorful. He's used a blue, green, and red adapter looks lighting arm to add a little bit of extra color into his leaf, adding a little bit of creativity, and of course, a lot more visual interest as well. Uh, and it really worked to capture our attention. Um, so we ended up with uh, a lot of extra color and all of that detail is still maintained. It's a really lovely image it's really eye-catching so very well done Paul you're our winner for this month so thank you once again to everybody that took the time to enter November's challenge. We really enjoyed seeing all of your autumnal leaf photos, uh, but now we're moving a little bit more into winter. It's time for a new challenge and it's going to be quite predictably a little bit more festive. December's theme is going to be 
Christmas magic, which means you can head outside or maybe stay indoors if it's a little too cold where you are and gather yourself some magical macro photos. We want to see lots of festive shots using maybe your Christmas decorations or the twinkling lights of a Christmas tree as Bokka in the background. If it's snowing where you are, maybe you could make use of that. There's lots of Christmassy festive macro photos. Of course, with a new month and a new theme, we have some new prizes. Uh, the runner-up for December's challenge will be getting one of our two-in-one phone macro lenses, which is a great way to get into macro photography if you don't already have a dedicated macro lens. The winner for uh, December's challenge is going to be getting one of our macro subject holders. These things have been really popular since we showed them off at the start of last month's challenge. Uh, they're just uh, flexible little crocodile clip arms, which are really great for holding your macro subjects and, of course, some uh, background cards at the same time it really helps to uh, position your subjects exactly where you need them so that's uh, the first prize for December's challenge so December's challenge will run just a little bit longer than usual because of the Christmas break uh, from today, the 1st of December, right through to the uh, 2nd of January when we'll close entries ready for uh, judging and a brand new video on the 5th of January to enter this month's competition, all you need to do is head over to the Adaptalux Facebook community group, which I'll put a link to down in the description of the video. At the top of the uh, community group, you will find a pinned post from myself, and you just need to enter your photos as a comment on that post. So the very last thing for me to do is to wish you all the very best of luck with December's festive challenge. I will link just here to a couple of videos which might give you a little bit of Christmassy inspiration, but make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you're here in a month's time for the announcement of the winners. That is all that I've got time for for now though guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.